Alright, hello guys, how's it going? In this video, we're going to be talking about how I'm expecting a very cold start to the beginning of August, at least the first five days. But before I get started with this video, though, I would do ask that you would subscribe if you do like weather-related content. I do lots of videos like this, as well as seasonal forecasts, monthly forecasts, and all sorts of daily forecasts that you might be interested in. So just consider that as you watch the video. Now, right now, we're looking at a graph which shows us the NAO, which is the North Atlantic Oscillation. And this usually leads to colder temperatures when it's in its negative phase. And you can see right up there at the top right corner there, you can see that it is expected to go negative by the 1st of August and stay that way through about the 5th or at least a little bit longer even. But it's expected to go negative and usually this is a really strong indicator that we are going to have colder temperatures in the eastern United States. Now we're going to go ahead and look at the European model 2 meter temperature anomalies and this is comparative to normal. So orange colors are warmer than normal, blue and greens are colder than normal, green being even colder than the blues. Now, you can see, looking at the 28th, you can see there's still warm temperatures there for the northeastern United States. Over the next few days, it's going to begin to warm up, warm up, warm up as we head into the 28th, 29th. But you can see, as I click on the 29th, you can see we do have colder temperatures starting to pour in from the Dakotas, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, Missouri, Illinois, Arkansas, Oklahoma, Montana as well, a lot of the greens too. So we can see this trough is located in that area and it's diving south but for the entire east coast we're still above average as far as temperatures are concerned now looking at the 31st you can see the cold is starting to move south and east as it's in the dakotas nebraska iowa minnesota the great lake states heading south even into arkansas kentucky tennessee mississippi louisiana all of these states are starting to head below average as far as temperatures are concerned and all of the east coast is a lot Cooler, colder than they were a few days before, only slightly above average by this point. Now, looking at the 2nd of August, you can see the cold is located over the northeastern United States as well as some of the Great Lakes states, Ohio, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Tennessee as well. A lot of those states are below average by this point on the 2nd of August. And you can see by the 4th, we do have some colder anomalies there for the mid-Atlantic states through, again, Tennessee, Kentucky, very cold temperatures there. It's going to be kind of warm and cold, kind of flip floppy if you would but really it's going to be in general it's going to be cold on average from the first to the fifth of august now also looking at the fifth of august you can see that cold dives further south and the southeast gets a little bit of that cold areas to your north are more average here's the cfs uh this is a seven day forecast from the 26th which is today through the second and you can see it's cold from the dakotas down through into the southeastern United States, warm in the northeast though. But you can see the 2nd of August through the 9th, we do have a cold area there from the South Dakota, Nebraska, through Missouri, Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and New York. Now I think the CFS is a little bit warmer than what I'm saying, but we do see that it is indicating that there will be some cold temperatures there for the eastern United States, and that's as well as what I'm indicating. I don't know how cold it will be, but I do know that there will be some cold from the 1st through the 5th, I think it's going to be pretty cold for the eastern half of the United States, and I think it'll be quite noticeable. Anyway, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video, and I really, really, really hope to see you in the next one. Anyway, guys, have a great day.